fate hurts, but remember the hope, cause things change, but the memories don't. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to increase or decrease your volume in Vegas Pro 15. Now in this video, I'm not just going to be showing you a simple up and down volume, I'm going to be showing you three methods how to control volume in Vegas Pro 15. So there's multiple ways to increase and decrease the volume in Vegas Pro. Right now, I'm going to play through what we have on screen. And what a blessing every second is, miss calls and messages, I miss the nights when you were called. And I'm just going to skip ahead to here and play it through again. No, only know you love it when you let it go. Whoa, so, whoa, only okay, so before we get onto this part here, what we're first, what I'm first going to be showing you is how to lower the entire track. So it's super simple, you can just come here and you'll see it says gain at zero. So all you do is select this and drag it down. Now you'll also see this bar here, so it's a little blue tab here, you can just drag it down as you can see the volume now goes quieter and quieter. And of course if you want it all the way off, just turn it all the way off and now that's what you'll get. So it is that simple. So right now I'll play it through. It's at minus 15. So that means the music is going to be quieter. And what a blessing every second is, miss calls and messages. Just like that. So that's how to adjust the volume on a single uh, piece of music or whatever is on your thing. Another way to do the entire track, mean anything that is on this specific uh, track right here, then all you do is come here and as you can see it says volume slider so as well as decreasing the volume here we can also put the volume louder so you can see it now goes into 5.2 just imagine a plus in front of it because if we go downwards you can see this is minus which means it's going to be quieter again now a better thing about this way instead of the other way i've just shown you you can customize it in a way you can double click here and you can type in a custom number. For example, I can put minus 20, select enter. As you can see, that is now minus 20 decibels for us. So I can play this through from the beginning and it's going to be quieter. And, what a blessing every second is, miss calls and, messages. and then let's say we want it louder. I know the music itself is already quite loud, it's at a good volume, but let's say your microphone didn't pick up your volume too well. So with this, you can actually go all the way up to plus 12 dB. You can't go any higher. So you can see if I drag this all the way to the end, it only goes to 12, nothing higher. This will make your volume a lot louder. And I don't actually recommend going to 12. I would recommend a maximum of eight. If it's music, then it can work. But if it's your voice and commentary, then don't go too high because it will end up distorting your audio. Now I'm gonna leave it at 12 decibels. I'm going to warn you now just to turn your headphones down a little bit and I'll play it through just to prove it's worked. As you can see, plus 12 dB and that has distorted the audio completely. You can also see from the output meter here that this was hitting straight into the red, not what you want. So there's the basic ways of controlling the volume. Now I'll show you a bit more of an advanced way which is much better in my opinion and all you're going to do is make sure you are selected on your audio track that you want to adjust the volume on and press V on your keyboard. This bar will appear. For those who are familiar with velocity that you can use on videos as well which controls the speed whether slow or fast is the exact same thing except for controlling the volume. Now you can see as I hover over this blue bar it says volume so we can bring this all the way up and as you can see that says 6 so we can bring it from 0 to 6. Now another great thing about this one you get more a lot more control than this one over to the side and the one I showed you before. First of all you can do the exact same thing and you can control or you can customize the amount you want it to be set at. For example, this square you are seeing here, we can right click that and select set to. You can see we then have the opportunity to type in a custom number. Now for this, I can put minus 25, for example, press enter, and now I'll play it through. And what a blessing every second is, Miss Carl. You can see it has changed the volume. Now you could say a downside to it is that it doesn't change the audio waveform. However, you do know that the volume has been changed. 
So the reason this way is going to be a lot better because you'll notice I did end up putting my other video here and this is where I start talking and currently if I play it through you can see we're overpowered by the music. You'll notice in my videos where I show an example like I did in this video which was a screen pump effect if you haven't checked that out yet a link to it is in the description. All you're going to be doing is say double clicking on that line and you can see you can bring up a square. I'm then going to come across a bit more just over when I'm talking and I'm going to double click here and another square will appear. Now we can simply left click and drag this square down and as you'll see it does say minus minus and right here minus 20. Now another great thing about this we can choose the fade type so currently this is set at the default but if you right click this line in between you can see you get other types of fades you can use. In my opinion smooth fade has always worked best for me and it's the one I always use as well but I'll just play it through now and this is now what we have. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15 and as you'll see on the screen right now what I have so you can see it's a super super smooth transition in audio this audio goes quieter and then my voice comes in and we can still hear me talking but we can also still hear the music as well you may have to play around with the setting on the audio because yours may not be the same as mine it does depend on your microphone volume and it also depends on the type of music you are using so again for this I do recommend right click select set to and maybe putting minus 22 press enter then of course just play back so here we are in Vegas Pro 15 and as you'll see on the screen right now and of course you pick if you like that or not and let's say for example later on in the video you're going to be speeding a part up and you want background music throughout so this little gap I took here I'm going to act as if I speeded up the video here so it's the same steps we double click then we double click here and then we select right click and set to 0, 0.0 db now remember 0.0, .0 is the default so that is going to bring our audio to what it was before we even changed it then of course we need to go quieter again so it's them exact same steps so double click and double click here right click select set to and I'm going to type in minus 22 and press enter on my keyboard and that's now what we've created so you can see we're going to get some lines going up and down throughout our video depending how much you need to adjust it so I'll just play this part through again then and I'm just going to play it through so mine's going to be on the as you can see super simple that's how that worked so as we stop talking the music increased and then it stayed 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 and then when we were beginning to talk again it slowly faded down and went back to that same volume at minus 22 decibels Thank you.